So hello, my name is Charles, I'm a fan of your medical student. Today I'm going to be talking to you about explanation stations. This is usually a favourite they like to throw in in Oscars. Listen, fuel with the pedal, you know it hit the floor. Time passing like a bezel, like Michael is cause. Even on a higher level, imperfections of flaws. Those close. So your explanation stations, for example, can range from anything from explaining how to use inhaler technique. It can be a health check, so at a GP setting, someone's got high blood pressure, someone's got high cholesterol, or someone is smoking. They've just come in, it's an opportunistic meeting and you have to speak with them. It can be on advising someone on what contraception to take. Uh, it can also be even in child's health, so explaining a growth chart, saying is this person's growth on track, is it not on track, those sorts of things. So when you're doing an explanation station, you need to have a clear structure. So first and foremost, when you're meeting the patient, introduce yourself, get them to introduce who they are. Those details are important so you know you're talking to the right person, they know who they're talking to. Second thing that you're going to do, ask them, how can I help you? Get them to tell you why they've come in. Sometimes they might not know. Opportunity for you to set the agenda and explain what exactly this meeting is. Oh, I've been asked to come and speak to you today about choosing some contraception. Um, I just wanted to speak to you on that and sort of gauge where you are. And then after this, you've introduced and so you know what the purpose so the meeting is you're going to ask what they understand about that certain topic so once again if we go back to contraception you're going to go to them so i've been asked to speak to you about contraception can you tell me what you understand about contraception so you want to use a format called ice called ideas concerns and expectations so get what the ideas of what contraception is about understand what they're concerned about in regards to contraception so some of them might be like i bleed heavily so you know i've heard about this thing called the copper coil and it increases me having heavier periods like my friend so i might not want to use this contraception understand their concerns because these are the things that you need to address and also the expectations so you know exactly what you need to deliver for them and what they're expecting from this consultation moving on the next thing you're going to do you're going to set a plan so you're going to say so first thing we're going to do i'm going to take a brief history from you so i can understand contraception is relevant to you and what's not as this is important so i can tailor the advice specifically for you second thing that we'll do we're going to discuss about the different kinds of contraceptions available so you know what your options are and then thirdly um, you can ask me any questions that you have and i'll probably give you some information for you to take away and you can ask any further questions at the end or even throughout if you have any questions does that sound okay so your history is going to be a focused history where you're going to ask questions that are very relevant you're not going to have a lot of time so you're probably going to spare about one to two minutes at most for example if you're asking about contraception you're going to ask about the periods when did they start how long are they do they have heavy periods as you want to know if what kind of contraception is useful for them heavy periods copper coal is not very useful you want to ask if they've had any surgeries and they're operating below you want to ask if they've had any cancers is there any family history of any cancers if they suffer from headaches if they suffer from any blood clotting issues and then you want to ask what kind of medications they're on if they have any allergies ask if they smoke if they consume alcohol their weight their bmi kind of a lifestyle they lead so these kinds of questions will allow you to pinpoint what is useful and what's not from that you can now going to move on to say i'm going to now explain the different kind of contraceptive devices that there are hormonal you can have non-hormonal implants or you can have the devices categorize your explanations into set chunks and blocks explain each one ask them if they understand if they have any questions move on to the next one then at the end you're going to get them to summarize back to you what you've explained just to check you've explained the information well and you've been delivering the information appropriately to them and then from this you'll get a gaining of what they've understood what they have not understood after this you invite them to ask you any further questions that they might have after this you're going to say you're going to give them a period of time to go back and think about the things you've talked about and tell them you know you're going to set an appointment to review with them maybe in a week's time or if it's appropriate depending on what you're explaining about get them to call you if they have any questions and also at the end remember to give them some leaflets and get something to take away if you've actually issued a treatment or actually issued something maybe issue some advice or things they should look out for any side effects and not to hesitate to get back in contact first and foremost introduce yourself do the formalities second of all ask them why they've come in and set the agenda of the meeting thirdly you want to ask ice so get to understand what the ideas of what the thing is that you're talking about any concerns they have and what's the expectations next you're going to move on to take a brief focused history on the issue that they have after that you're going to move on to explaining what they need to know relevantly to them especially with the things that you've asked in the history that will guide you about the options that are good for them and that are not good for them and then after that get them to feedback to you what you've said get them to ask any questions and then give them the information to take away and leave a channel for them to come back and contact you if they need more information or to follow up yeah, 
it in the core. They were acting so elegant like a Bentley when it starts. It's that viva la vida, you know they're moving like a photo. Captured in the past, but no longer in the present. Many faces on show, men they send me like the crescent. They ain't down to earth, they ain't no herbal in your essence. The only thing they care about is keeping up appearances. Lost up in the source, the reason for my disappearances. A decade from now, how many y'all will be friends? On my time machine flow, I can.